Minutes to four on this Thursday afternoon. My special guests in the studio are the Bee Gees. Gentlemen, how did Saturday Night Fever come about? Is it true that the idea came from a magazine article? Uh, yes, actually, yes, it, was. it did. By a man tribal, called Was it Tribal Rights of, of a Saturday Night? It was tribal, right, tribal Rights of a New Saturday Night. That's it. It was the tentative title for the film. By Nick Cohen, mouthful, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It, was an, it was actually the name of the article. I don't think they had a, any intention of calling the film that. In fact, they didn't have a title for the film. It was us that they approached to try and rename the film that they were making, apart from asking us asking, asking at the same time to... They wanted to use Saturday, but they didn't know how to use it, and we suggested that they use Fever, or they use the word Fever, and mm. they use Saturday Night Fever. Uh, we had a song called Night Fever. We had songs like this already written when they asked us to do it, so we just suggested Night Fever sounds like the right title. And uh, the first reaction from them was, oh, it's a bit pornographic, you know, mm. to call a film Night Fever sounds like some... Which, if you, you know, think back in those days, it probably did. It yeah. could be looked upon as such. But uh, yeah. Robert Stig would ask you to write what four songs for the film, didn't he? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Did you think it was going to be anything big at the time? Did you have mm. any? Inkling? We, we had no idea it'd be it as big as it was. It was just another project, yeah. and we said, "Yeah, we'd love to do it." And we, yeah. For us, it was our first soundtrack. We were thrilled, but uh, no one, including Robert, had any idea what was going to happen. You know, or even John, John Travolta, for that matter. Never knew. No never one thought knew. it'd be as big as it yeah. was. When it, yeah. but when the album passed five million in the States alone, everyone started to scratch their heads. You know, it began to get uh, a bit crazy. It was a great marriage between music when and movie. When is it going to stop yes, selling was the question, marriage. you know. Yeah. You know, when you say, uh, would, uh, did we know if this soundtrack or album indeed would be as big as it would be, we didn't even know at the time, although we loved the idea of doing a soundtrack at the time, mm. we never so actually so had any sort of uh, image of it being on the charts even. It was sort of because it was going to a movie, it was very hard to associate the charts and a soundtrack. It was a very rare thing. Those days, soundtracks were soundtrack you know, yeah. 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 So yeah. we yeah. thought it'd be great to have our music on the soundtrack of a film. We didn't really think of the album. We thought, yes, well, we'll, we'll we'd like to have certain points on the album in case you know uh, it is released as an album and it does do relatively well. We were just thinking in terms of if it is a hit, it wouldn't be. It would be just like a moderate soundtrack film hit, you know. Yes. Or we never imagined it to be bigger than. Sound we didn't even know they were going to put. We didn't even know they were going to put a double album out with all these different other kinds of music as well that had been previously released yeah, you, know. Yeah. you know in fact they used idea. they used yeah. two tracks of our old stuff as well Sh yeah you should be dancing and jack right, yeah. which, so, which was uh, which incidentally i must point out a lot of people don't know this they these were songs that were number one uh, at least a year to two years before fever was even heard of mm -hmm. and a lot of people think you know it was yeah. it was yeah. in the film what effect did the film and the album have on you because suddenly you were catapulted into world superstars weren't you well that's yeah. the terminology i mean you, you tag somebody with that i've heard the terminology mega stars i've still got the mega stars it's become a new one it's, you know. it's, i think but it's you know nice. what i mean no, I think you know what it, I mean? yeah yes. but i think it's nice yes. that uh, whatever you know that but they call you meager and the well, to you it's a sign that you've reached another level and that's yeah. uh, you but know. you know i mean first let's remember the word superstars 10 years ago was unheard of Mm. You know, you wouldn't say so. It was a new word. Yes. Well, to us, to us, the actual success that came with it, yes, it was outstanding. I mean, it was just because nobody imagined it to be as big as it would be. Yeah. I mean, uh, to me, the the only thing I, I thought nothing could beat Sound of Music and the soundtrack from Sound of Music as being the biggest selling album in, in uh, so for soundtrack say, history. Yes. Mm. I never thought that Saturday Night Fever would have done that, but it did. Yeah. Did, did you? Did so you? In shock. Enjoy the attention, or did it force you to, to retreat at times? And well, I think, so, I think the answers are pretty obvious. Of course, we enjoyed the attention mm -hmm. at first for about a year. The, a year of craziness is about as much as anyone can take because it's, after a while, it's not as much fun as everyone thinks it's going to be. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can't go outside your door, you can't go to a restaurant, you can't go to a cinema, you can't do the things that people do. Yeah, and the pressures were huge, you know. I mean, for instance, <sighs> at one, you know, for, you know, for a period of a few weeks, we had five singles in the American top four, ten. For, you know? No, four singles in the top five. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it's, uh, you know, it was, it was, so it was getting ridiculous because we were getting a, you know, everyone was going to expect us to have to keep doing that for the entire, for our entire career. Yeah. You know, we, a normal record coming out without a movie wouldn't be good enough for the Bee Gees anymore, you know? Mm -hmm. Coming out without a film and, you know, <laughs> the Bee Gees <laughs> had actually a recent <laughs> record without a movie. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know, they've actually released an LP with a single. <laughs> oh, you know, <laughs> this is such a shock. Yeah, you know, like it's they're so used to having the, the uh, having ha for such a oh. while, for such a long time, because of the phenomenon people was. It was it, it wasn't just a phenomenon for two weeks. It was around a long time. It was number one in the United yeah, States. Yeah, they expected the ballet who with every track we made. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. the thing that's, yeah. that that can uh, you know jade people. Nearly every song that you've recorded, you've written yourselves, haven't you? Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Why is that? 
uh, because primarily we're songwriters, you know. Yeah, and not only that, but everybody that came up, up to us with songs, the songs just stunk. <laughs> <laughs> so well, no, is, 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 that, is that true? I mean, is it, is well, it really, really something happened to us a while when we were very young. When we talked about Australia, uh, oh no, I'm talking about uh, the other station we were at, we were discussing Australia. But uh, bringing Australia up, when we recorded records in Australia, we made about 13 records in a, in a row with our own material that, that di died completely. 13 flop records consecutively. And we decided, oh, well, well, let's take a shot at someone else's song, because you never know, it might be our songs, you know? And we recorded Every Day I Have to Cry. And we found out it wasn't our song. Uh, uh, and we found theme out... Theme from J. Mac Features. Theme and Jay and turn around, around, look at me. Look at me. Turn around, look at me. Mm -hmm. they, they died miserably. And they died too, so... Then we knew it was us. <laughs> 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 so... But it led us to the conclusion that if we're going to go wrong, let's go wrong with our own songs. Mm -hmm. Because somewhere along the way it might go right. And if it goes right, they're our own songs. At least and if we uh, go wrong, we're to blame. And yeah, if we go right, you know, we take, right. we take the credits. So. How long have you actually been in the States now? Uh, about s nearly six years. Mm. You live in Miami. What's it like there? Because we've heard a lot of stories about the crime rate there. It doesn't sound too healthy anymore. Well, it's it? not everybody's paradise. Let's look at it that it's way. Bad. It's bad. It, no, it's <laughs> not. It, 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 there are, there well, are bad areas. areas. There are bad areas in every city in the world. But, uh, yeah, but this is especially bad. Yes, I mean, there's, there's a, a big coverage on Time magazine. Yes, I know. Yeah. There's a very big crime rate there. In fact, it is the, the highest crime rate in the country in Miami alone. But where we live, uh, we don't see very much of that. And that's, that doesn't mean we're sheltered because we know where it is. Well, your house is under the ground. Yes. <laughs> uh, well, now, having said that, <laughs> are, are, you, are you very conscious of your own personal security? Is yes, it something that you take oh, very we're, seriously? We're very aware of it, yes. Yes, we are. Simply because what measures do you take? Uh, well, we, we have uh, very good uh, boundaries to our homes. We have very good uh, alarm systems, cameras, uh, things like that, and people. You know, I think you know. You can't be too natu careful. Naturally, everybody's become a lot more aware of it since John's death, and it's sort of uh, you know, especially being in America. Well, just, it's no, just the element that you're well you know, known and therefore a target. And, yeah. and to s in someone's mind, some Listen. strange person sitting somewhere, you may be the target. I've had people that. come up to me and, and, uh, and make out they have a gun in their hand, and they've come up to me and made their hand into a gun. For a split second, they put it on my head, and they said, bang. And one of them said, you know, a question of time. This is about three months ago. That's happened to you? Yeah, yeah. Miami. And then he got, yeah. got back into his white car and, and drove off. I reported it to the police. Now, I was so shocked, I was getting out of my car and going home. Now, for that split second after he left, I was so in shock that I thought to myself, now... I didn't know anything about that. I mean, for the few seconds it took for him to do that, that could have been a real gun. I would have known nothing about it. And mm. it, it just goes to show you how quick something like that can happen, even if it wasn't real. Mm. In fact, uh, the matter is, it could have been real, and, and it just, just, just showed me how easy it is. Do you have to live in America because most of the work is there? Um, as that's probably the right way to put it, we, we, are, we are there because a lot of our work is there. A lot of the artists are there that we want to produce and work with. We're also mm. record producers, so... Yeah. So we, we, we have to have a good roster of artists that we can choose from, that we can approach, and uh, the, the really big businesses that uh, handle these artists are in the States, so, and our studio now that we've built over the last five years is there. So all the mechanics are there. We ha it's, our business has been built there. Mm. And, um, but we love England just as much. Would you like to come back? Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you think you will? Yeah, oh, yeah, in the next two years, yes. Really? Seriously? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Because we, want our, we don't want our children to go to these schools um, these junior high schools and things like where there's violence and there's uh, where 60 percent of the kids Wait, carry guns and uh, it's just a preference of having our know. children grow up in England. We'd like our, to yeah. our children grow up here. Yeah. Well, apart from the new album, I was reading that you're planning to make a film about the life of Lord Byron. Is that right? Yeah. It's getting I'm, around. I'm isn't it? I'm <laughs> to pick this up. It's, uh, it was in it was in the papers this morning. Was it really? Yeah. 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 Well, I heard that, but uh, well, Barry's supposed to be playing the lead. Yes, that's true. <laughs> but uh, the deal is about to be closed. The, de the details of that deal have been done and the paper's being drawn up, so it's pretty well confirmed. Yes. Oh. So you're under the impression that the film people were going to release it. Yeah, and yes. uh, they uh, were not supposed to. Because it, it will probably end up as, was, with all of us doing the music as well, yes. yeah. hopefully. So yeah. those, d those deals are still being negotiated. So we said, all right, we'll let you release it. So we haven't said anything. Do you see acting as your, as your next step? Would you like I to think so, all yes, of and the continuation yeah. of uh, soundtracks to films. Mm. Uh, yes. I think uh, we all feel that in the next 10 years there'll be probably 
uh, more expansion in that area, including more you know soundtracks yes. and films, and probably less emphasis on on the Bee Gees releases. As an entity, yeah. yeah. Gentlemen, it's been fabulous to meet you. Thank you very much oh, indeed. Thank, thank you. Have you enjoyed the tea? It's been it wonderful. Wonderful. Once, tea. once again, thank you for Could that marvelous introduction. Can we hear the introduction? Can we the introduction? We haven't got time to read it. I must tell you actually. We have a tape copy or something. Well, we can give you we can give you a tape copy of the introduction. Thank you. Okay, gentlemen, thanks very much. Thank you. All the very best, and I hope you'll come back and live in this country before next year long. Thank you.